grow into this game. Ellis Hayden wants him wide. There's the ball. Looks to send the service out for Oklahoma City scores. Same side. And a yep. penalty awarded with the foul. But Eric, I mean, having a striker, right? That, that, that's the difference. And not to say that on OKC, they don't have quality strikers. They've got some great players. You look at like Phoenix Rising, and they've got Flemings, and they've got Dadovich, and they've got multiple guys. The energy not really able to get to the final third. Maybe they will here. Quick run down the center of the field to the outside. Ellis Hayden, the right back up. Cross in. Chavez didn't get all of it. And barely. Javi Baez looking for Sonny Guadarrama. Back up the other way with Jose Hernandez. Hernandez to Ellis Hayden. This is how they set up that go-ahead goal in the 40th minute. We will have perhaps. in Alice Hayden here inside the box. He drives towards goal and it's just wide of the target and there was in fact for FC Tulsa to see it out or OKC Energy FC to force a third here. Alice Hayden ball into the box. It's going to fall here in the box and there's a shot. Pushing forward is Terraville. Brown's going to sneak into your picture in a moment inside the 18. It's Ted Restrepo. Ellis Hayden looking for the answer for OKC. Well short. Uh, knocked down by Ward. It's the Greens, Oklahoma City, Energy FC, squaring off against Austin Bold and Arch, while this is not one here with Delano, just how strong they finished last season, RGV, but couldn't make the USL Championship playoffs because of that slow start, and we're trying to get a result that would really give them a good chance. Ellis Hayden trying to change things, but it's saved. Finds the tackle of Tara Bell, but we got a center back partner. Got a chance to talk to Jake Davis this week on the SKC show. Check out that podcast anywhere you can find them. Very bright young kid, Jake Davis. Long diagonal ball for Ellis Hayden. Doma defense. Cross coming in. Too tall for Chavez. Twitter and vote for your true Sky Credit Union man of the match. True Sky Credit Union, where you truly belong. This started actually as part of the SAFC Academy and their training program. Moving up to play and training with the first team. He went off to Belgium in the middle part of last year and has now returned. Also, Liam Doyle, center back, began the year in Memphis. Kato on side, plays ball. But you still have to find a way to put the pieces together. Stretch this game a little bit. Too much of it is being played on the exterior. And yes, they found success there. But it's also proved quite predictable. See the 2v1, they're starting to shut it down. Referee's going to blow the whistle. But they I think they've just done a, a, a really good job. I like watching them last week. Very, very solid. Very calm. Good experience. Terrible, of course. Similar to Austin, both teams really having two center back pairs, pairings that they can count on. Over OKC, their center backs did not get to spend much time together last year. Terravel had an ACL tear early in the season. Off the penalty area. Ward runs onto it for 
OKC. Renzo, he's taking his time. Crosses the other way, trapped by Pirano. Pirano trying to create with a right foot this time. Shot is blocked. Pirano fighting for it again and loses the battle. Sterling defense played that time. Seven matches remaining. Not saying let's print the playoff tickets right now, Coach. But yeah, that's I... gonna that's gonna be a hard hard task for anyone that's behind Tulsa to try to come back. From. Yeah, you know, looking at, at again. It's gonna be a repeat for the champion of the USL Championship this year. City are the only ones to have done that in the modern era. Well, Satan got it out to Quill. Sell everything out to find a way to get that go ahead goal. Of course, we're far from that decision. Making process, but look, right now, pick and choose your moment. Sometimes when they start to press a higher line, and often the ball is Get into the attack again down the right side. Cross coming in, dealt with by Restrepo, and Baez just heads it out. Spinning ball into the box. Suarez was going to uh, do a bicycle kick. Headed away though. Done well. Brings in Alice Hayden. He goes down. Referee said it was a foul. Weeks. So sometimes you, you know, when you're carrying a lead to halftime, you Kind of getting this mindset of, okay, we're okay. We have a two one lead or you know, one nothing lead. Not going right back to the center backs and restarting possession. And you can see how intentional they are with trying to find that wide space in the final. Garcia. Cato, Ellis Hayden high up the pitch, drops it off, Hine again to his right. 